Hi there, so here I am in front of the parabolic mirror of the Odielo uh, solar furnace in the Pyrenees in France. It's a very bright day so you don't see too much because the webcam cannot handle the brightness. I cannot show you the heliostat that directs sunlight towards the primary mirror. You might see some uh, squares behind me. Those are the mirrors. Uh, I'll try to get some uh, old sunglasses to, uh, to uh, well, uh, do something about this brightness. I'm here uh, mainly because I think it's very important to use solar furnaces. They have many applications uh, and I'll name three of them. I also name them in my better quality recorded uh, video that I'll put together when I'm back home. I uh, actually managed to get into the laboratory here, that's very nice, and they showed me how they are experimenting with chemical reactions that are uh, well, helped by photons, because of course if you have heat you can do a lot of chemical reactions, but apparently if you uh, insert photons right away, uh, so sunlight, then you can do all kinds of other interesting reactions, and much reactions, many reactions go much faster. So the three applications I see uh, of a solar furnace that are a little bit under uh, discussed is one is that you can make a diamond coating on mirrors with them. So you can basically make the mirrors behind me if you use the mirrors behind me. And then if you do that, these diamond coatings, I'm moving the camera around a little bit too, this is maybe better. Uh, if you make this di diamond coating, you'll have mirrors that do not wear, simply don't because there's n not much in the world whirling around in the wind that is stronger than diamonds. So you can even put mirrors in the desert and they'll just stay exactly the same for hundreds of years, usually. That's what the tests show. And you can use solar power for that, a solar furnace. It's a patented process and I'll link to it next to this video. Uh, maybe not uh, right away, but eventually, <laughs> because I'm, uh, I'm a little bit pressed for time. But a second application of these furnaces is that you can pump energy into other chemical reactions and especially chemical reactions that generate hydrocarbons. You can make hydrocarbons like methane using a process called the Sabache process. And there are other processes that simply generate a whole uh, raft of, uh, of, uh, of hydrocarbon, uh, 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 how do you call that, chains or compounds. Uh, out of carbon dioxide and water. So you use carbon dioxide and water, you heat it up and then you add some photons through the use of a solar furnace behind me and you get uh, hydrocarbons of all kinds and you can uh, sift them out, of course you can refine them and then you can use all kinds of or make all kinds of secondary products from them also. So that's just a good replacement of fossil fuels, uh, a completely clean one because you actually resorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and uh, maybe you're gonna sit next to a lake in Africa where it's completely loaded with carbon dioxide in the bottom. But uh, anyway, that's an application of a solar furnace. You don't hear much about it, it's patented and I think it's actually expired already. Then the Mongolians and the Chinese work together to do the most brilliant thing that I've been reading about for a long time actually, because it has been going on for a long time. And that is, can you uh, purify silicon using a solar furnace? And the answer is you can. And if you do that, you do it with uh, about 10% of the energy that you usually use. Which means that uh, the energy cost of making solar panels, of course, is a large component of the cost. Uh, all these uh, type of purification processes happen at about 1700, 2000 degrees Celsius. That's a temperature you can easily achieve with even a solar, uh, small solar furnace. So the Chinese uh, built an 8x8 mi uh, meter mirror and they can purify 3 kilograms of sil silicon each day. That's, that's, I think, one of the nice aspects of these type of technologies. They are energy technology, and once you have the energy, you can do about anything you like. Uh, and uh, if you use solar furnaces, uh, you can do it much more efficient. And that's why I'm here. So uh, uh, I'll try to upload some other footage. Um, but otherwise, I guess you have to wait until I'm back. I'm also going to try to find uh, <laughs> some old sunglasses that I can break down so I get uh, a little bit less light in this webcam and I can report a little bit easier. Thanks for listening. If you want to support me, go to my homepage, donate. I got one donation. I'll shout out the names when I'm in Seville. And uh, I'll be on my way there uh, in a few uh, moments. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.